Okay. <clears throat> I got in the mail today through certified mail a letter from the good old boys at the ATF telling me that I may be in violation of federal law for buying a rare breed trigger, um, which they're saying I may have in my possession. And then it's funny because it says any weapon which shoots is designed to shoot or can be readily restored to shoot automatically more than one shot without manual reloading by a single function of the trigger, which the rare breed trigger does not. But the fact that you the trigger resets and you have to pull the trigger every time automatically right there by that line by a single function of the trigger pulls it out I mean it's out I mean it's automatically out right there it goes on to say all the things that I could be in trouble about and I've got 30 days to contact them after receipt of this letter and and at least one of which is in your possession or not lawfully manufactured pursuant to this regulation so there's they're claiming that I may be in violation then that I do have it and that I don't have it and then you know contact them within 30 days and I guess letters now is what you're gonna start seeing is just a bunch of letters coming your way you know we'll see how this goes I mean you know the best thing to do is just is uh, is lawyer up I guess I don't think they're gonna get shit and they ain't no telling how many people ain't gonna give them nothing there we go Ooh. Yeah, I guess I got 30 days to give you a call. Will do. Okay, um, I'm going to run the uh, two, two, four, two, two drill today um, and see, where we, see what kind of time we get. Um, I know I did this on one of my other videos, shooting at some steel targets, but we're going to do actual paper ones and, you know, you should be trying to do it in probably 12 seconds or less, I'd say. So, um, let's see where we go and see what we do. So. Six point three one twelve shots. Um, a little bit sloppy. I'll run it a little bit slower. I don't think I need to run it that fast. I'll, uh, I'll get these marked up and I'll uh, reset this and do this again. Okay, I got those marked up and we'll, uh, we'll do this again. Um, I, if my gun needs to be reloaded, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it fly like, like that so I'm not gonna try and reload or fix anything. So we'll just run it that way. I'll run a little bit slower this time, trying to try to do maybe uh, maybe the headshot marks that I've got up there. I'll see how that is. I've got a bigger body, and I'll uh, I'll do I'll go for the heads. Ten point nine five. I'm shooting low on the little head pieces, but that's because obviously I'm pretty close with my. I should be aiming more up here at the top. So if I'm just aiming in the middle, I'm splitting the bottom. Um, that was still decently quick, and we'll uh, 
just keep running it for a little bit and see how we like it. All right, I'm going to stand a little bit closer, more like three yards from the center one. Um, that way I have to move more, more drastically, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll run it. Eight point seven two, and I had a little reload in there, so uh, that's not bad. Shooting pretty well center. I'm not really throwing any crazy ones out anywhere. It's not looking like I'm aiming generally in the center, and that's about where we're landing most of them. Not very good groups, but. Also not the best. Let's run it. Um, <clears throat> let's run it from uh, one side more drastic than the other, and see that way. Got to come back to it. And see how that is. Seven oh two. Seven oh two. One thirty four first draw. Splits are about point eight to point three on the really quicker ones. <clears throat> so let's uh set it up and do it again from another angle. We'll go uh, far side on the right this time. We'll see where that gets us, see how we like it. This is obviously very close range shooting too. This is not like it's, you know, a little bit further off, so. So not marked my last time. Right. Let's do uh let's do it to where I have to move. I have to move as soon as. So I'm going to engage this one first. But I'm going to move to my left. Put my two rounds on that one, then move along them and go back. And uh, we'll see how that feels. Four trees behind these targets aren't having a good time. Man, these drills go through the ammo. Woo. I'm gonna do a. Uh, I'm gonna start back here, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna on the timer. I'm gonna run toward the target. I'll just run to the center and start uh, left to right, like the drill normally is. And, uh, 
and we'll see what that what that plays like. I'm going to do it again, but I'm going to shoot at the uh, head spots again, um, and we'll uh, we'll do the run up again and do all that still. That one I ran in an 857, um, so we'll uh, we'll see what it looks like going for the heads again. So. take my time a little bit more and try and actually hit those head targets. It looks like I got all four of them on that one. Pulled too low. I got them on that one. One low. Alright, it's probably my last one. Running low on ammo. I have to go back and reload the mags if I wanted to. Um, we're going to go for head again. Um, I'm just going to stand here and do it. It's probably the last run anyways. And uh, you get to watch from back there on the camera. Hopefully I don't shoot it. Shouldn't. And we're going to go from right to left this time. We'll go from right to left. Change it up a little bit. Make sure it's a little bit different. First shot was incredibly slow, 1.4 set or 1.74. Shooting low, I'm always shooting low. But that makes sense. I'm putting the dot in the middle and my holdover should be a little bit higher. I put all those through that one pretty well though. That's pretty much blown out. Awesome. Got a few more shots left. We'll just shoot, shoot a couple targets till they're gone. That's all she wrote.